Hola amigos, what is up and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Woolly World! This is Tales of Fyraga, and I will be your host on this fantastic voyage. So, in the last episode, we cleared up the first three- In today's episode, we're going to be going all the way on to World 3-4. And probably doing some stages afterwards, mind you, but... World 3-4 is my main focus. My main ficus. Big Montgomery's Bubble Fort. Huh. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we fought Big Montgomery once already, so... I don't know what this... I don't know what this funny business is, Nintendo. I already fought that giant mole. But as you can tell, there's bubbles. Bubbles everywhere. Now, these bubbles pretty much act as trampolines. You know, you jump on them, you can even ground pound on them to get a higher jump. They're fun. They're nice. They they do not fit this fort music at all, but eh, whatever. They're nice. I like them. And now here's a fun thing. If I get the shy guy, see? His pokey stick will actually pop the bubbles. Now, there's nothing down here, is there? That's just a demonstration pit. But this guy drops all the way down there. And more importantly, there's actually stuff down here. Which is very nice, including our first happy flower of the stage. I'm feel unhappy already. Oh, that's a mole. Okay, maybe I'm not feeling as happy as I thought I was. Didn't realize we'd be dealing with moles. Actually, I kind of did realize, because the boss of this fortress is a mole. I'm gonna go back for the other stamp patches I missed. Oh, I didn't miss any stamp patches, okay. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. How about we actually bounce up... Oh, wait, never mind. There's stuff to the right, too. Let's drop down. Hug the wall. Okay. Now let's throw an egg. Oh, it's just hearts. Okay. I can deal with hearts. There we go. That's that wall out of the way. And as soon as I activate that... So, we're doing pretty good on stamp patches so far, at least. We've got, like, a billion of them, or maybe, like, six. Six is probably the more accurate number. Ah, oh, there's stuff there. Now we have seven, which is a lucky number. Okay, so if I were to get up here, there we go, okay. So we had to take down that shy guy, otherwise he'd just pop all these bubbles on the right side, and that's not good for me. I want those bubbles to be free. Oh, how I want to be free. God. Pound, and there we are. Okay, we're up here, which is good. Let's be careful. There we go. We're careful. Okay, so we've got two and two so far. That's not bad. That's not bad. And we've got, like, what, eight stamp patches? Eight, I think. Nine! Wow, we're almost halfway through. We're almost halfway there. I'm already halfway there. Halfway. Okay. Let's go with that flower o beads. Yo. What's up? Mole there, guy. Come on. There we go. Now I've got to get to that Wonder Wolf somehow. I think I know how I'm going to do it. Probably by doing some jumping, and then some not jumping. Just, just, just on a whim. There we go, we did some jumping, we did some not jumping, 
and we got it. See? I know what I'm doing in this game. Sometimes. Oop, there's a thing. It's just hearts. But hearts are always fine. Should probably should have saved those because maybe we're gonna be on to some tough stuff. Ooh, this room, this room, this room. Okay, so the way this room works is, you see those lines, those squiggly lines going around? Uh, well, there's actually some wind pushing us down. And now, I don't want to be pushed down by any wind, but I'm going to be risen up instead. I want to fight the power. And by fight the power, I really mean I just want to bounce on these things all the time. You know what, I wonder if it would actually be, you know, pretty fun to just bounce on a giant bubble. I've always kind of had a soft spot for, like, trampolines and stuff, just because... Trampolines are fun. Or at the very least, trampolines are kind of fun, until you realize that you've got, like, uh, trampoline guts all over your fingers. You know that feeling when, you know, you're covered in, like, black shit? after you've been on a trampoline for a while. I didn't, like, just the rubber pulling off and, like, leaving residue on your hands. That's the one thing I don't like about trampolines. Other than that, trampolines, A-okay with me. Perfectly, perfectly fine. Uh, I wanna go here. No, I don't wanna go here. Never mind, never mind. I did not wanna go there. That was spooky. Uh, we're not even at a spooky stage, though. I don't think we've ghost house level. And we have not. I think the first ghost house may actually be in this world. Pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe, baby. And it's like what Don... Or, uh, who's that? Donny Osmond in, uh... The Johnny Bravo Christmas special said, maybe it's just a baby that needs to be nurtured until it says yes. Which... Uh, is not logic you can apply to a lot of things. I mean, it's logic you can apply to some things, but... It's creepy if you apply them to other things. You guys probably get what I'm talking about there. Anything? No. Oh god, that bubble came down like a... Bubble. I was about to say, like, a wrecking ball, but then wrecking balls don't usually pop on platforms. So it just came down like a buble instead. And is that... okay, that's happy flower numero four. Oh god, let's... let's not fall down. Let's rise up. Let's be Street Fighter V and just rise up. I actually pre-ordered Street Fighter V, so... Uh, I'll be getting it on the week of MAGFest, actually. I think that's when it comes out, so... I'll probably be bringing it up to my younger brother's college and, uh, hoping that he lets me use the PS4. Because, I mean, Street Fighter V, that's some pretty exciting stuff. Because I liked Street Fighter IV, but Street Fighter V, I mean, it's bigger numbers, so you'd think... It's probably gonna be better. You know, isn't that how it usually works? The bigger number is the better number? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I mean, I'd consider 98 to be a bigger number than 13, and... I'd consider 2 to be a... 02 to be a smaller number than 13, and yet... You know... The King of Fighters 98? Oh wait, no, that's 2002, okay. I was getting concerned there because I thought King of Fighters 02? That's not a very big number at all, but then it's like 2002? And that's a very big number, so clearly, it's the best game. Until you get to King of Fighters 2003, but... Okay, that joke's not gonna work because I'm pretty sure no one's gonna say that 2003 is their favorite KOF game. I've seen some of the dumb stuff that KOF 2003 has, and, uh... On the bright side, it had Ash Crimson, though, so... That was kind of cool. At least I think that was the one that had Ash Crimson. 
Maybe that was 11. Mm, I don't know, but either way, that's not what we're talking about here. Stupid joke over. This tangle of yarn here looks familiar. It's a Yoshi! I'm tired of Yoshis ruining my plans! Hey, you, minion! I need you to stop any Yoshis from getting past here. Oh man, look at that Monty Mole. Montgomery's big again, and he's got a hat! Oh god. Oh no, this is not gonna be fun. Maybe it will be fun. So the objective in this boss fight is to just peg Big Montgomery here with some stuff. Now he's gonna do his usual things of hopping out of the background and whatnot to try to chase ya. But he's not very difficult. Like that. In fact, I honestly think that Big Montgomery in this fight is easier than he is in World 1. Marginally easier than he is in World 1. I mean, he's got some devastating attacks there. I mean, did you see that shockwave? Devastating, but... Nah. He's kind of a cakewalk, really. Did we get everything in this stage, I wonder? I think we might have. Not entirely sure. We're gonna see. Alright, we got the hearts. We got all the flowers. We got all the wool, but we only got 19 stamp patches. Okay, well, I can't not be happy about those circumstances. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with my performance there. I think I did well. I think I did very well. You got a new power badge, and it's the most useful power badge in the game, which I might make some use out of later on. Or it's one of the most useful ones, I should say. Either way, we got Yogurt Yoshi! He's so... partially hydrogenated. <laughs> it's partially hydrogenated. Quiet, you! Yeah, from Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That can I just say, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy was a pretty damn good show, but it was fucking demented. That might be why I like it so much. But that's neither here nor there. Welcome to the stage... What's the stage? Fluffin' Puffin' Babysitting. Let's steal some babies. Oh my god, I just... Okay, was not expecting that to happen. I was not expecting to commit murder most foul there. I was expecting to, you know... I don't know. Is there someone down here? There is not. So, the gimmick of this stage is obviously you throw these fluffin' puffin' babies out and... Well... Or... Yeah, I think they're fluffin' puffins in this game. I'm pretty sure it was huffin' puffin' in the original Yoshi's Island, but... We're not playing the original Yoshi's Island now, are we? We're playing Yoshi's Island HD Turbo Championship Edition and Knuckles. So basically, throw babies at things and you get results. I don't, don't think there's an, any actual eggs in this stage, to be honest. This stage also happens to have uh, apparently one of the fan favorite musical pieces, if uh, Google searches and YouTube searches have any indication. Because this seems to be the first track that pops up when I search uh, Yoshi's Woolly World music. Even though I'm partial to the fort theme and uh, one of the ice stage musics later on. Oh no, you do get a straight up egg in this stage, okay. Like one straight up egg, but I'm gonna take more of these children. Steal children. That's how the stage is done. We need that, and that's the first bull of the stage. And I already feel like we're a fair way into this stage, so if that's the first wool, that's a bit frightening. Troop Trooper? No. 
I guess you can commit murder most foul. Oh god. Oh, that's right! These aren't eggs, so you can't actually harm... this guy. Oh no! Can I get the paratroopa to respawn, actually? If I do this... Does it trigger the respawn point? Yes, it does! Okay. So what I'm actually supposed to do is use the paratroopa to knock out that fellow right there. And get hit really stupidly. That is also a good thing, apparently. You're probably guarding something. Oh, not that I'm gonna find out. Okay, you know what? Let's respawn that paratroopa again. Because I feel like... He's not there anymore. Okay. Uh, we may have just committed another murder, but that's fine. That's that's great. As long as we keep quiet about it, act natural. I know what I can do here. Yo. She. All of she. A great track from Guilty Gear. I want to take you for a ride. Oh no, that guy- oh, hidden thing. We got hearts back! Yeah! That's cool, that's awesome. That's... vaguely good. Let's go over here. Okay, there's nothing over there, which means I killed that piranha plant for really, absolutely nothing. Which is fine by me. Oh, they count as an enemy, too! Aww. I feel bad about taking the these children's mother away from them. But at the same time, I've got a mission to do. I've got to save the world. Okay? I've got to protect the world from devastation. And if that means murdering giant birds... That's well, fine by shit. Get those babies back. I want my baby back ribs. Chili's baby back ribs. It has been a while since I've been to a Chili's. We don't have a Chili's around here. I mean, kind of do. Sorta. Sorta toe. Uh, but the only Chili's we have is in Waldorf, which is a completely different county and. <gasps> I see a thing that we can do here. Yo, this Poke Palm, I need it. Give me that Poke Palm. Give me that Poke Palm Kingdom. Yeah! Get wrecked, son. And or daughter, I do not judge. Everyone can get wrecked. I'm an equal opportunity wrecker. You know? What are we doing on power pickups? Uh, three wolves. Not feeling too confident about that. Before, uh... Oh god. Hang on. I know what to do here. Oh god, maybe I don't know what to do here. No, wait, I know what to do here. I know what to do here. I can go that way. And go in here. Okay, so, the objective of this puzzle is to save this chomp rock. Except it's stuck now. I'll help you out, don't worry. My tongue will help you out. I think that's wool number four. Yes, okay. I think we're gonna get... I don't know what Yoshi we're gonna get from this. I mean, we got yogurt Yoshi, and that's... Clearly the best, because who doesn't love yogurt? Besides people who are like lactose intolerant? Or people who just don't like the texture of yogurt? I don't know, I like yogurt. Specific brands more than others, but... You know what yogurt I really like? That Yo Crunch stuff. If you don't know what Yo Crunch is, it's basically... Yogurt, but it features like, uh candy pieces that you can put inside, I mean, in your yogurt, 
like uh, bits of Oreo cookies or uh, M&Ms. And it's just plain vanilla yogurt, but I used to get that shit all the time as a kid, because it was, it was good, and it probably still is good, to be fair. We're missing uh, three stamp patches, but not really too concerned about our red coin count. So we got all the flowers and we got all the wool. And that's what's really important, I think. At the end of the day, isn't that what's really important in life? Flowers and wool? Alright, fluffin' puffin' babysitting. Okay, so we're missing some stamp patches, but don't worry. Don't panic. Because now we got a bonus game. And it is... Sh throw eggs! Throw eggs the bonus game. Give me some eggs to throw. I am terrible at this bonus game, apparently. Really awful. There we go. Everything was awful. Everything was cool when you're part of the team. Except cool and awful don't usually go too well together, unless it's awfully cool, you know? Like, if, if you're going outside and you're just like, man, it's awfully cold outside. Well, it's not really cold, it's more of like the in-between between, you know, comfortable and, uh, cold. Well, I guess cool temperatures are kind of comfortable, sometimes. We got... Fluffin' Puffin' Yoshi! You fluffin' puffin' varmint! We got a cave! Oh, I think I know what cave this is, too. Is this the Funk Cave? Yes, it is! The Funk Cave! The cave of Funk! I also need to grab my bottle of water. Because I'm thirsty. Well, my thirst has been sated. So that's something. That was probably really annoying to listen to on the mic, too. Just me going gulp, 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 and, uh, crunching the water bottle. Yo, when does, when does this stop? When does this wild ride stop? Oh, it stopped. So I'll let you guys also take a listen to the beauty. Hang on. Eat that guy, and then we go down. Then I push this. Hit that. Okay. Not a good sign, not a good sign already, but I have confidence. I have the confidence that we're gonna be able to get through this, okay? Believe in me. Please. Believe in me. I don't believe in myself very much. I have very low self-esteem. So little that I don't think I exist. Which is great. So the way this stage works is... I mean, of course, you got that funky music, white boy. But you've also got this maze to go through. Now, it's kind of easy to get lost. Not really, you know, super easy, but there is a lot of hidden stuff in the stage, so... You've got to be careful about where you go. Ah, uh, is this a pit? Is this a pit? Please tell me it's not a pit. It's not a pit. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're cool. Everything's, you know, it's good. Everything's good. Everything is good. And of course, we can just reset the situation by going over to this post and pounding it. Whee! There's a the thing.
Okay, we've got a... Uh, oh, I see. It's just directing us over to this post right here that we need to pound. Grab that. Okay. There we go. And now let's do some post pounding. Bam. And that will get us, of course, this egg restock station and the actual path we need to go. Which is kind of nice. I think that's the path we need to go. Hang on, I'm actually gonna check what's down here. A locked door. Good to know, okay. So that actually is the path we needed. That's fine. That's fine, you know? There's no one I'd rather be lost in a maze with than you guys. How the fuck do I do this? There we go, okay. Cool, awesome, outstanding, amazing, incredible. Incredible. I'm just gonna post that so we have an easier time if I make another loop. If I have to make another loop, you know? Maybe it is lupus. Probably isn't, but we're gonna find out regardless. Not feeling too confident about those one-way doors, though. Not feeling too confident at all. Oh, never mind, we got springy things. Boints. Okay, maybe not boints. Okay, so there's a transformation somewhere here. There's a transformation door, but it's locked on that end. Up and four. Four. Not inspiring much confidence. Hold on. You know what is inspiring confidence though? Pushing in this wall. Another thing. That's a happy flower, and I believe there's something down here too. No, there is not. There is. There definitely is. And it's the transformation. So what's our transformation this time, Yoshi? Mole Yoshi again. Mole she. Okay. I guess it works. Let's dig. I can dig it. All right. And you're going through. Dig and okay. Okay, so that's wool number three. After wool number four, it's kind of weird, but I'll roll it. You know. I'll take it. Yoshi's Woolly World, you can do whatever you want. I will not judge you on that. You know what I will judge you on, though? Hiding wool number five right there. Which means we've got three flowers to get. Hmm. Not too fond of the missing three flowers thing, I'm gonna say, you know? Missing some wool? fine. Just one piece of wool? That's fine, we can go back for it, but missing three flowers? And I see where a flower is. We just gotta find a way up there. But I think I have an answer. And it ain't pretty. Found some posts. Hold on. Oh, there's a thing up here. Oh, it's a platform! Okay, I don't need to do that much post-pounding, actually, anyway. Okay. That's good to know. In fact, I can just pound this post. I mean, it's still post-pounding, but... Hearts! I don't know why I went for them, considering that I'm already full on health, but... It just felt like the good thing to do, okay? 
It felt like it was trendy, and doesn't everyone just want to be trendy? That's flower number four. That's really not inspiring much confidence, Nintendo. Gotta say that, not really inspiring much confidence in me at all. Go. Agents are go. Lead beat agents, anyone? Pretty good game. Pretty good game. Actually, okay, I'm gonna say this. Elite Beat Agents might be one of my favorite rhythm games. Just... It's partly based on the premise, too. Like, the premise is just silly and goofy, and I love it because of that. But I, re I realized that the original Oendan also had uh, a kind of silly premise, too. Just the cheerleading squad an all-male cheerleading squad going around helping people solve their problems with the power of dance. But Leapian agents, turning them into secret agents, just managed to make things even sillier somehow. Not to mention all the cover versions of songs that they had. And... I'm going to admit I probably would not have listened to, uh... Some of the bands that I listen to nowadays without games like Elite Beat Agents and Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero, also a big one. Without Guitar Hero, I would probably would not have listened to Megadeth or Incubus or uh, Ozzy Osbourne's solo work or even Black Sabbath, really. I don't know. I liked Guitar Hero just as a way to experience different music that I wasn't used to, because I'll be honest, most of the music we listened to in, like, car rides and stuff was my dad's taste in music, and I mean, I was exposed to some of the stuff I knew from Guitar Hero because of dad's music, you know? Uh, Blue Oyster Cult, for instance. And stuff like, uh... No! That flower! Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. We got the flower. Good. Okay. That was scary. That spooked me very much. I can't even finish the story because of just how spooked I am. Guitar Hero, it was a video game. Exposed me to some music. Okay, that's cool. Leaping Agents also was a video game. Exposed me to music. That's also cool. That was scary. I How long left did I have on that flower? Because it was ticking out the moment that I got down there, so... But whatever. Yoshi is so happy. So happy! Sorry, sorry Tim. Stealing your catchphrase again. Sorry. But regardless of any of that, we are done with World 3-6. And that gets us yet another Yoshi. What is this going to be? It's... Pound Post Yoshi. He's kind of cute. Actually, he's very cute. Everything in this game is very cute. We got a rainbow to go to next time. So, in the next episode of... Let's play Yoshi's Woolly World. We're gonna do 3-7, 3-8, and hopefully do 3-S as well. I'll see you guys later. This is Dance Fire Raga signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Swear to God, footage you better save.